Hi, how's it in the name of Christ? How you doing? It's your girl Cranky Garabo. I hope you're good. I hope you're peachy. I hope you're Stella. And I hope you're in a neat little bunch. If you're not, you know, like, uh, whoopsie. Happens to the best of us. Um, nobody's really like kosher. Even though everybody's trying to act like everything is alright. Okay, um, one secky. How's that working out? I moved something that was obstructing the view of another light of sorts. Anywho, so it's the first of January 2023 and it's New Year's Day and I'm just like whatever okay do you choose what you want to choose opt up or down it doesn't really matter at this stage like not anymore anyway what do I want to say I'm gonna wash this hair today I I'm like so decisive I, I did not work out because get 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 New Year's Day I mean it's a public holiday I'm sorry not I'm being lazy but I'll definitely go back tomorrow because then I guys I'm gonna spread I am going to spread like jam on your bread and I can't afford to do any of that. Why am I even bothering to detect? I don't know. Like, yeah, look, I'm going to wash my hair in this state. We'll see how, how things go. I've been wanting to, but you know, not quite getting around to it. But you know, nobody cares. It doesn't matter. Does anybody even notice that my hair is doing a strange thing? I'll tell you what's noticeable. My white car sunscreen is noticeable especially on my brows it's like still chilling there it literally just hangs there and makes them gray next time i might just put some like black pencil or something here like i have one no i don't have pencils i don't have mascara i don't have anything but you know it's there anyway let's just put some caveats out there no i'm not wearing application makeup maybe i am i don't know I'll decide. Let, you, let it be a surprise like a jack-in-the-box. And if at all it's there, understand it's gonna be bouncing around like a happy baby. That's just what happens in life when stuff is bouncy. So don't come at me with a flying kick. Mm. Okay, um, another one, my captions. They're not always accurate, just kind of look out for that. Mm. My captions. Ugh. Anyway, like, who cares, right? Like, nobody cares. Ugh. And that's because it's the tribulation, so I guess if you're listening to me during the tribulation, it's like the shallowness of inaccurate captions is not really a thing anymore, is it now? No need to be looking at strange stuff. I don't have time to edit them. Um, yeah, anyway. I'm still, yeah, and I don't desire to remove them either because I think they're cute, so they're staying. It is presently, yeah, like I said, it's New Year's Day. I'm under a lot of attack. I think I'm always under attack. Like, every day it's like, oh, like, I think, guys, like, I don't know, like, you know? Hey, yeah, as in all the best. Yeah, let's just put that out there. All the best. <laughs> Very human sacrifice rituals I learn now. All the best, you know, with your seances. <laughs> All the best. I'm not going anywhere, I'm getting stronger. I'm a believer. Ooh, I'm a believer. I'm just getting stronger, I'm just saying. I'm all by me lonesome again on the yard today and it's like, wow, leg room much. How na motumu and I don't care. I mean, agum nandi when it's just me, like proper. Mm. Anyway, look, I'll wash this hair today. Exercise self control. I will wash it. But how am I gonna wash it? Am I gonna wash it like illisol? Like just kind of, you know, massage in the shampoo into like regions, you know, regions. But like leave it like this in this protective knot. I don't want to take it out. I told you I want a, a, a lazy hairstyle that's gonna help me to continue to grow my hair. Okay, so let's have a, co a conversation briefly about my hyperpigmentation. Does anybody think it's fading? Does anybody believe it's fading? It was all underneath my chin too at some point. Mm -hmm. Does it look like it's fading? Kojic acid, it did then. Anyway. <laughs> look, whatever. As in, it's a jungle out there. It's a jungle, and I'm not singing. I'm not doing it. It's a jungle, and I'm like, as in, do you watch out for that? Whoa, 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 tree. <gasps> Tarzan, watch out for the tree. Little Tumpwaki Mudimu, I've been saying it. Like, I'm so exhausted of seeing random stuff. Like, 
I don't never mind seeing random stuff, but I'm under a tank. Again. It's like but to Nilizanka New Year's. Were you grunting over a fire naked? Guys, come out with it. Is that what you were doing? Yesterday when people were hooking up fireworks, bombing them in the sky. Just be honest. I promise I'm not gonna judge you. <laughs> I'm not gonna judge. <laughs> Were you grunting over a fire all naked, drawing red circles on your chest? Oh, is that what you were doing? Cause why am I so overwhelmed? That's what happens when you guys do that kind of stuff. Just come out with it. Promise I won't tell. I won't tell. I won't tell. Were you naked over a fire, grunting, chanting, saying hail Satan? Were you? Were you? I'm not gonna tell. How can you tell I'm not gonna tell? Cause I said so. <laughs> like yo, I'm tired. I keep- uh -huh. Grunch up, you guys think I work for the Kingdom of Darkness? You think I disable it as a maid? Mmm. You think I'm your Kingdom of Darkness maid, always all up in this grill, coming here to clean up after you? Don't. My survival is rescuing some people. Mara, you think I am the maid? I'm the cleaning staff. Y'all need to understand, it don't work like the end. Let's talk after it's that basic. I'm so exhausted. I'm out of my mind. Uh, oh, with exhaustion. <sighs> uh, every day. Mm. Every day, every day, Jeff and I'm about to always just suffering. Like, what? I'm tired. Like, I can't. Y'all hopping over fires. Like, guys. <laughs> That's like it. Yes, Ugubola Bolili. Like, rot. I'm sorry. No. Like, y'all need to stop. I don't work for the Kinema Darkness. I work for Jesus. And all of y'all, y'all be thinking, Uguti, I'm here to spoon feed you. Nah, my scalp is too itchy to be spoon feeding anybody. Go find somebody else. Someone to lang Go find somebody else. Go work 24 hours a day without a break. Can't Just chanting and grunting over Mullah. <laughs> y'all gonna get hurt something bad. Like, uh, uh, uh something bad. Like, inappropriate response. Something bad. Something bad. Something bad, you know? Something bad. Can I just put something out there? Like, I keep putting it out there. Like, hell is real. <laughs> Hell's real. Yeah, and because that, that place is real, it doesn't matter that you are just grabbing nuggets from my ministry and running with them. That's the dreams that I got last night. And I'm just like, you know what? Give the new year. I told you guys that your resolution should be to la sabotzozi. Like I said yesterday. Throw away thievery and go to church or something. Because this is getting old. It's getting old. Old. Oh. I'm sorry. We're not singing. It makes me cringe. He's getting old. Like, it's not gonna do anything for you to sort of kind of look really cool like a Christian when you're not, okay? Like, I can bury Kelly Luna, I can bury Kelly Luna, I can bury Kelly Luna. So when I was like eight, 18, 17 years old, I was dating this irresponsible nitwit. Let's say 18, I could have been matric or something, whatever. But yeah, I was in high school and he was out of high school. And this dude was like the Gen Z's of the 21st century. Yeah, they, you know how these kids like to experiment with older women because apparently it's fashionable and popular. Mm. So I was like his 18 year old girlfriend and he was like 21. I was, I was his 17 year old girlfriend, he was 21. Or I was 18, he was 22, whatever. He was four years older than me, okay? Um, and one time we went to go hang out at this one chick's house like i could not understand why my boyfriend knew so many older women i i mean guys you know at the, like he was 22 it's older when you're like 27 like it's thoroughly older you might not see i might not see it that way today now 27 year olds are babies to me but like as a 17 year old girl if you are just hanging out with a 22 year old guy what's wrong what's wrong scott one scott one are you doing scott goo you know what i mean anyway whatever fine so here's this guy 
uh, he, he, he takes me, like we go to some place to hang out one time that when we were chilling all together and it was the house like this guy this boyfriend of mine in and of himself was staying home at home with his parents but we went to go and visit some chick whose apartment it was it was some colored chick right it was her house and she was hosting some friends over and i yeah i, I they my boyfriend basically carried me he took me with him okay to that place because i guess i was there for the day and they they told themselves okay let's go hang out yeah mm. i've always been very smart that's what's good even as a kid i've always been so somewhat kind of low-key good at general knowledge because that's what smart people do they just know random stuff so i'm that girl when it comes to quiz games i'm that girl when it comes to like uh, what do you call it general knowledge like you know little puzzles and little quizzes quizzes like back in the day when they when the weakest link was like a whole show in south africa i used to tune into it just to basically gauge if at all i would win the show right because then they would ask questions and i'd be like da, 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 da. and i'd be able to answer and i'd be like oh snap it's a pity i'm not old enough to be on the weakest link because i totally win like that's what's good right i used to answer questions quite well so i could play games um and win and do very well like 30 seconds any quizzy kind of game i was that girl uh anybody that would attempt to come here and tell a fib and say that that's not me is again like i said telling a fib okay even my colleagues at, at mtn got it december whenever we would bring board games and play 30 seconds i used to slay them i was the queen is that basic like i'm the 30 second second queen i am the quiz game queen like yeah every other board game maybe not that great monopoly might just knock me upside the head snakes and ladders i might just get swallowed by a snake or go up a go down a shoot i don't know but bring me a quiz game and i'm winning because that's what's good that's always been my favor uh, my favor that's always what's been what's favoring me mm. now that you've put that in your little bag and banked it let's go back to talking about the story of this like 27 28 year old chick that my boyfriend somehow knew okay i get that i was very shy as well as a kid i was withdrawn i i didn't talk very much because i was scared of people uh but if i had a little bit of alcohol in my body i could you know loosen up a little bit but even then not too much okay uh yeah and yes i i was drinking alcohol that night like everybody was drinking alcohol and yeah whatever we start out hanging out and the first thing that i i noticed when we w w w went into that house right we went into that house there were these colored chicks you know hanging out together the house belonged to a colored chick uh, and she was with her friends and we are out here in this joint yeah okay as we walk in and my boyfriend is like forward what pa pa greets everybody hey yo what's up hi guys hi hi and everybody hugs everybody and my boyfriend right uh, like i was making i was made diak and they kill it like them so and y'all know this whole thing with main chicks and side chicks and whatnot i was the main chick let's just put that out there not that i was content with that but like you know when you're a kid fella to a point where you're content with just being irrechte whatever i was this guy's rechte meaning that everywhere i went with this bugaboo i was being introduced to anyone new as hi medium ukarabo hi this is medium karabo karabo this is you know kinele karabo this is pinky karabo this is john karabo this is reggie karabo this is temba uh all of y'all medium karabo and that's how it would be like it's it, yeah that's just how it was and at that stage we had been dating over a year it was like just common knowledge that that's how i get introduced you know go inside this house and my boyfriend is all like flamboyant on some ha 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 hello everybody you know like star of the show everybody greets him him and everybody else that we went there with because it wasn't just the two of us okay he didn't have his own car at the time so we were obviously being driven by some other friends of his mm. yeah and we get in they greet these colored chicks and what have you and my boyfriend just you know glides over my intro I'm like there as this very shy chick, like extremely shy. Do you understand what I'm saying? And my boyfriend doesn't introduce me, and so I'm just like, hi, hi, everyone, hi, hi, everyone, hi. 
I'm Karabo. Hi, hi everyone. Hi, hi, hi. I'm Karabo. Hi. Um, and I noticed that all the girls that were there, they greeted me properly. They were like, hi Karabo, whatever. Hi Karabo, how are you? Whatever. Moving on. But there was this one chick, the one who actually stayed there, the one who actually lived there. She was like, hi. Like she scanned me up and down like, yeah. Like I stank or something with her hello that was released with great difficulty okay whatever it didn't matter right i then noticed that my my boyfriend is like very super friendly with the host of this the main the basically the person who owns this house this apartment who lived here right he's he's super nice and friendly my ex-boyfriend i was in high school right he was out of school and i'd always been very shy and for those reasons i didn't talk very much he did not know my level of intelligence i told you guys that back in the day and on top of that like relationships were not meaningful yeah like my boyfriend didn't even know what subject set i took at school he did not even know my surname until we were dating for like 14 15 months like over a year then only he learned what my surname was then only did i learn what his surname was it was that bad the situation so we weren't really dating i don't know what we were doing okay cool very well just bank that information all right i apologize if it's glitchy and there's a speech lag lineup but i'm trying to tell a story and i hope that the information is capturing even though there's a speech lag okay yeah this boyfriend of mine therefore did not know the level of giftedness that i had up here he was not aware just what a scholar i was how academic i was at school the guy did not know much he didn't know much about me it me go jol wanje raf raf that's why you guys must just not jol raf raf when you're kids like just leave it alone okay wait until the right time and you not that right now what's the right time courtship so you can get married instead of njefelu jola blapa because you you you're intelligent women you you gifted smart chicks ni your jola na ma balloon that's why you will end up dating a balloon that don't make sense for you mara who cute balloon ya tengi cute in the in a smile says in the in a matimpul le balloon so unayo when you're busy you crunching numbers in school and this dude can't even piece together a sentence grammatically that is sound yeah go to na you balloon ya kona o bloma na you o jola ne balloon i was dating a balloon and i was intelligent and this balloon did not know that i was intelligent okay Mega he did not know just what a beast i was in school anyway whatever so here's my balloon and i and i'm in this joint with these older women and one of them is giving me hard knock shade and the one that's giving me hard knock shade lives there it's that's her it's, it's her apartment she's older she's like 27 8 my boyfriend is like 22 right and initially i was inclined to think that nothing's going on here like there's nothing going on tolana. i mean why would my boyfriend a business go she's too old for him even though there was you know activity between the two of them that made me very uneasy all right um there was activity between the two of them that made me very easy uneasy but we're here at this place this apartment this decent looking apartment of this obviously young professional woman she's got her own apartment and what have you okay yeah she's doing okay for herself in life yeah <laughs> this color chick was so mean to me that evening she was so mean to me like so incredibly mean anyway whatever one time i went to i asked to use the bathroom because i had to go and pee and she shows me where her bathroom is at and as i go I, I went to the bathroom and when i came back out she and my boyfriend like walked like they you know kind of pulled apart from each other in Gachi, they were flirting this guy thought i was dumb and so he imagined that it was okay like he thought that i, I would not I was not able to basically pick up cues in the room that that's a woman that he has slept with in the past and the two of them likely have a contract like it's not serious that's why he could bring a chick that he yeah, a woman a, a woman a girl a, a girl that he was with that night he could bring her over to her apartment because the two of them had entered into a contract that every so often we do what we do with each other but it's not serious it can't be serious and my my boyfriend was prepared for that to be a thing because think about it in the context of so he's older than me but think about the context of an older woman with a, a much younger man that's not as financially strong as her a lot of times these older women tell themselves you're cute i like you don't get too deep don't get intense oedipus right um we're just partying i'll pay for your drinks i'll be your sugar mama but don't get deep just 
give me my needs like you know beyonce's i promise not to let no bills get behind you best believe they're gonna be on time sugar mama yeah she just sugar mama she's not really trying to get married or have a very serious man in her life she just wants somebody with whom she can play every so often that's not going to be latching onto her uh with, with boyfriend heaviness yeah yeah this chick i believe had that kind of contract with my boyfriend you know when you date rough rough and you feel like anyway yeah you know i'm doing really isn't it she's gone past some crazy roads yeah so that's the guy that i was in love with that guy like no man's business let's just put that out there and i guess that's why i stuck around like yeah but then i after i got to university i was like this is not my thing we're not doing this anymore uh-uh when i when i got out of high school i was like this is this life it's over i'm not living this life i'm not about that business i'm not about that business like this is not my life now Pumaguya, but prior to that this is what i was doing with this random oki that i was too in love with like frankly to for him for the kind of character of a man that he was i was too in love with him like you can't be in love with a guy like that it's just dangerous anyway whatever for the soul and for the heart lo and behold in the future indeed it would be displayed that that was a problem for me to be in that joint but you know how little rough rough i'm trying to discourage you guys from doing that but let's finish the story i get out of the bathroom and when i open the door they break up from each other ingati they were caressing and making out and kissing or flirting with each other in my absence while everybody was just like yo i this mess that's going on like literally looking at these two flirting while the little tiny high school girlfriend is in the bathroom like but i guess that's just what happens when you have a contract with a sugar mama the sugar mama gonna be looking at the little girl on some oh so i see you brought your little uh, um baby girl today you 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 brought your little child today yeah you, you brought uh, one of your, your your little school girl girlfriends today um to your sugar mama's house you bad boy whoa like they had that whole vibe going my ex-boyfriend however for whatever reason did not quite imagine that i was picking up on that i was picking up on it but i didn't raise it i let it go because i was not about to one cause a scene and i was shy and i was full of compromise and settling i was full of just taking a lot of rubbish in my stride and so even though i could pick this thing up because i'm smart but don't nobody know because i'm always quiet and don't nobody know because don't nobody ask yeah anyway the night continues and then this chick whips out a game of 30 seconds all right she whips out a game of 30 seconds on some guys let's play 30 seconds and we play 30 seconds and i'm getting a little manzified now because you know i'm drinking whatever they're drinking get savannah uh or what you might call this thing hunters dry one of those ciders mm. And so I'm getting a little less, uh, you know, withdrawn, a little less shy. My inhibitions are a little less, you know, they're, they're coming out a little bit more. They're peeping out like a peeping Tom. And so I'm starting to relax, even though I can tell this chick has got hostility. At some point, this chick, <laughs> nah, let's just carry on telling the story. She kept on referring to me as a child as a child i mean look I've, I've always looked younger than my age even when i was in school even though i don't know if i was tall and skinny but i never ever looked the same age as my cousin for instance who was my exact age everybody always imagined i was a, a couple of grades below her when we were in school uh, yeah so they were surprised whenever they would hear that we were both in the same grade uh, type establishment thing so even at 18 i guess i could have perhaps maybe still looked 15 at 18 i could have still looked 16 i don't know yeah and this chick just like imagined me like so young so young that my <laughs> my 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 boyfriend was basically committing chicken murder according to her maybe chicken murder <laughs> this chick look is is 18 with a 22 year old chicken murder i don't think so it's a little old for as young as i was but as you get older and you're like 20 with a 24 year old or you're 24 with a 28 year old it gets better but anyway whatever i did not feel like it was chicken murder but this chick treated me in got boyfriend i'm illete like ichichi lase primary or something she treated me like i was a child 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 like you know the way that you would yell at a child john no um johnny what are you doing no johnny come on johnny i said don't touch that johnny 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 like whoa like, yeah this chick was speaking to me like that and everybody was like my boyfriend did nothing about it and everybody while they were not also mean to me did nothing about it it's, it's like they felt as if though this chick was like my parent my mother and you're the mom so you get to discipline your child however you want even if really frankly you're overkilling why you keep on yelling at the kid so kind of the kid this chick treated me like i was a child like everything in the kids and you know she was five seconds away from <laughs> from spanking me she was five seconds away from slapping my wrist 
yeah it was very condescending like in the worst way but you see that's just what happens when you allow yourself to be the sugar mama of some dude when he brings an age-appropriate chick along you're gonna treat her like she's a child and that it's just stupid because it's a it's a blow to your ego your self-esteem so this thing with women thinking they can be like men and gain benefits you know friends with benefits of sexual benefits out of a relationship with a guy uh what is this thinking that they can do like with with no attachments it's naive it's naive because this chick was obviously reacting that way out of jealousy she was treating me so terribly as she was out of jealousy and while i was young indeed my this phone is giving me glitches and i really hope that my message is is, is recording while indeed i was young i was not so young that i would deserve to be treated like that like not even my own mom treated me like that no one treated me like that in the world at that stage um and this this colored chick just really had a field day with me and i was very shy very withdrawn at the time and i never i was not yet quite the protagonist that i am i wasn't as seditious as i am trying to come up against authority and stuff like that that is um uh, despotic or whatever i wasn't the beast that i am today i had not established that resolve yet um even though all that stuff of course was in me at some point it came out didn't it it was like an onion like skin underneath an onion that's very deep within like things that a person can do babushka doll they get revealed over time yeah that was always dwelling chilling in me dormant um but it was yet to come out because i was a kid and i was you know learning the world discovering myself all that jazz and it didn't help that I came with, an, with, with like a, a shy personality as well. That didn't help. And so I allowed this chick to treat me like trash. But the point of this particular message is not even so much trying to discourage people from Ben 10s and sugar mommying and chicken murdering. Yes, like be afraid, be very afraid, stuff like that. Walk away. I've got other days when I speak about things of that nature. But I'm getting to another point right now. This chick, she whoops out a game of 30 seconds. Okay. Oh yeah, whoops out a game of 30 seconds. Was that the first time in my life when I, when I played 30 seconds? I think it actually might have been the first time I ever played 30 seconds because I got, I felt so in love with the game that later on I would go on right ahead to purchase 30 seconds for myself um, because I played it so many times across the board that I was like, this is like my total favorite game. I realized that I love quizzy board games. I really like quizzy board games. Anyway, whatever. So this chick whooped out a game of 30 seconds and i did not know what it was but it was full of a whole bunch of questions and what have you cues and whatnot and uh we were all playing and we had teams okay we were all playing and we created teams so not teams just two teams it was like we were not that many that we would need like multiple teams it could have been like a uh, team a and team b and me and this chick were in this chick and i were in opposite teams i don't know if my boyfriend was on my team i don't know i don't care all I know is that the 30 seconds game commenced and I'm dealing right now with grown young professional women um, and men that are, I guess they're men at this stage, but they're younger than these women. And I'm the only one there that's pretty much in high school, okay? Still, yeah, type establishment thing. And guys, <laughs> I, I, I lambasted them. I'm punching them. Give us Sahile. My team was blessed for having me. Uh, I, I killed it because that's just what I do when we play 30 seconds. Like, I killed it, okay? Here it is that cues were being given. The, 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 we start playing 30 seconds, and I, as soon as like a, a, a cue would be raised, I'd answer Eiffel Tower. Da 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 da. And I got excited that I was winning, you know, like on some yeah, yeah. And everyone was getting excited. And one time uh, I was like, I don't know what I did. I was basically celebrating and maybe high-fiving somebody. And then I like kind of braised this chick's like maybe body from just gesturing around from all of my excitement from basically winning 30 seconds do you understand what i'm saying and and this chick was like wow what you doing you're such a child how old is she and she still she looks she looks at my boyfriend she's like how old is she not even asking me she's not even like how old are you like you're basically you're acting like a child right and she's like wow what are you doing you're pushing me how old is she i'm just some excited little child and atom on the spot and uh she heard she broke my heart when she said that my boyfriend again he was just this namby pamby rando that did not stand for me um it broke my heart it caused me to be calmer do you understand what i'm saying like basically just kind of low-key chill out on my excitement for winning my games the way that i was but i brought my team to victory 
I can't really say single-handedly but I'm smart and I was in the presence of these grown women right and I was basically slaying them in general knowledge they were older than me and I was I was killing them in, in this game right however those that were on my side I guess were glad that I was killing them and this chick because she was busy fraternizing with my boyfriend it was clear she was jealous of what was going on between the two of us uh, she was jealous of our relationship because she obviously liked my boyfriend she was likely sleeping with him and so when you are with a guy and then he brings some little child you are going to want to minimize her as much as you possibly can and then when she starts to like lamp based you on 30 seconds it's like goodness she's just a child and now she's better at 30 seconds she's in my house she's with my man no girl you wish you she she's with her man and you're sleeping with him it's the other way around but you're always gonna feel entitled to a person that's not yours in the climate of his main person like that's just the, the sorrow of the mistress you know you are just passing the wife shade and stalking the living daylights out of her to see if she's better than you and when you discover, discover that she is you then get all upset that but like you know like you know yeah you yeah well like you put yourself in a position to feel insecure you put yourself in a position to get heartbroken because the man that you're busy sleeping with has somebody that he is more happy to acknowledge in the world as his than you <laughs> anyway whatever this chick was obviously with my guy but you know you, you just settle for rubbish when you're a child that's why you should just not date as a kid recreationally because you don't even know yourself you don't even know when you're taking nonsense in your stride you don't even know that your boyfriend can thoroughly take you to his sex buddy's house and she will be one of those mature women that won't even let you know or even hint that she's with your man and the two of y'all will basically make a fool out of you in the room <laughs> yeah that's what was happening with me that day but i like basically slayed everybody in that game of 30 seconds and caused my team or the team that i was on to win and that over there despite me having basically brought all these grown-ups aba hefty aba sindayo everybody buds the little logs of, of of like human beings i brought them to victory and despite bringing my particular group to victory and so therefore be, being the star of the the particular party come on yeah the star of the day like this chick that like um, this guy let's say his name was jabu the, this chick that jabu brought caused us to win 30 seconds we slayed like that's what's good instead of them giving credit where it's due and being mature like what it is that paul was to timothy who i guess was being counseled given that he was living in an era or a time or an age or just a world at all that underestimates people based on age when then a person kind of proves themselves as worth a while in spite of age whoever is mature in the room or like give credit where it's due you you need to be like okay look i underestimated you i'm sorry girl like okay look fine so i thought that you you couldn't be trusted because you were just 12 fine i did not imagine that given that you're just 21 you couldn't kick the job of being a ceo all right but look at you bringing the company around look at you transforming the bottom line look at you bringing us out of liquidation near liquidation look at you flip the model look at you basically transform what looked like a dying organization into a thriving uh you know the whole economic powerhouse and market leader you you did that and you're just 21 we we don't trust you because i mean your dad's little boy and the company belonged to daddy and daddy gave it to you when he retired and we were just like i'm like 37 why is my boss 21 why why is that even happening i'm 37 why is my boss 21 but i mean when that boss flips an entire company that's when then he stops being 21 and he just starts starts being the ceo he stops being 21 and starts being the ceo so i guess when you are a certain kind of human being you gotta prove yourself that much harder that much more intensely for people to finally respect you do you understand what i'm saying and ageism is just one of of the issues in this world where it is that you underestimate a person based on age either because they're too old or too young for a certain thing um you underestimate them and other things are sex you know gender underestimated because they're female or male uh you underestimate a person because they uh, another thing that could also be an issue is, is race color you know of skin it can be a myriad of things that could cause discrimination in a room but once a person has proven 
that y'all underestimated me for no other reason than the fact that I look a particular way or I speak a particular way or I am a particular height or I am a particular age or you get my point for whatever like you know factors that might have contributed to the mistreatment of such an individual as this once they have proven themselves y'all need to do what is right and honorable and lay out a yellow red pink purple carpet whatever might be the carpet in question here that is the honor carpet and let the guy walk on it let the chick walk on it like proper just allow the kid to roll on that carpet if he wants because of the fact that they've done something that nobody else could they've achieved something that don't nobody else succeed at generally or other people take a good twenty thousand years to achieve the same goal that this dude hooked up in an hour so you know that's what our saying here in black culture in south africa means monafa to gel us down gel us down like give credit where it's due that's what i'm getting at like if a person slays you even though she's like two years old hey just let that baby gain the glory movie look who's talking because i mean really and truly if a two-year-old slays you on the athletics patch look who's talking now look who's talking now like let that baby talk why because the baby proved that they can slay you in athletics i mean of course we're speaking extreme examples in that regard but what i'm trying to explain lana is that you know you've come to the very end of the planet when don't nobody try to acknowledge success when one has walked in it in the room where when people do no no are no longer interested in admitting no lana crunch up ah uh, come on no monafa to gel us down when you don't want to just give credit where it's due because somebody has flipped the model and somebody has corrected a situation that other people struggled to correct on that day when you don't want to when you call bitter sweet and sweet bitter and right wrong and wrong right and everything is upside down and good evil evil good do that when you want to go and 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 butterfly when you want to go and kill something that has resuscitated everybody and brought them back to life Nenzan Nenzanemala guys Wait a second Nenzanemala lai mkakwen Kuna muntu lauzo puma ako gise ment Crenshaw Somebody's gonna walk out here with a cast Somebody's gonna get hurt Somebody's gonna leave here with a blue eye Yo Like I told you guys that Mudimu, the Lord God Almighty, is about to rapture the body of Christ. I mean, that's like totally happening. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like it or not. Yo, that's happening. And when it does happen, you're going to realize that Ishtan, if only, like you're going to be scratching yourself even more than my little head scratcher over here on some, why did we not give credit where it was due? Why am I laughing realizing it's a motor bone sitting the flames? Why under heaven did we not just see that this situation is rubbish and out of hand? flames. If God be God, serve God. If Baal be God, serve Baal. Lomuntu called out to God and he burnt the sacrifice at Mount Carmel. Marali busy sentinelli fisam di not in the occult. Jaka my shorts over here. Mmm another angle another experiment another test maybe we are gonna find the show that christianity ain't jack hi there buddy you you tying a new knot ah, okay this is what's good my is gonna be like wait a second more knifing do you feel like gary swang more banning by me nice i cannot tell about when it's about fee who who fastly fit to how much i don't care how much you can tie a knot but the bottom line is i am god and i unravel and then i put stuff together that's what i do and if i have said gah gavel is down guilty gah gavel is down innocent gah sentence is passed 10 years gah acquitted when i say that like it is what it is but you nah humanity that's you that's you bugaboo you make me wanna throw my pager out the window sell my house so i can move because you were bugaboo a bugaboo when you go and you grab good and you call it evil when you go and call upside down right way up when you go and call bitter sweet sweet bitter when you go call black white white black when there is literally absolutely no absolute truth just a like gray matter ah it's a king no who look here guys all right when i'm about to have to say i win 27,000 hunger games when the poor chick has won all the hunger games and you you keep on doing catching fire over and over and over again you know how in the hunger games katniss everdeen 
and Finnick and all those other people that had won the original Hunger Games had to be put in the All-Stars Hunger Games again. Yeah, when you do stuff like that, God brings the world to an end. When you keep on putting a person to a test, when things that don't work, you keep on fostering, hesharing. Yeah, that's when the Lord is like, I'm sorry. Well, goodness, you start take my children. And then you guys are going to have to deal with that another tribulation. Man, see how you deal with that. May the odds be ever in your favor, booyah. The Lord's going to do that. Like, you don't just get to put people through inevitable, ongoing, wire wire trials, bringing all different kinds of different, different monsters all up in their grill. To see if maybe this time they will cave, if at all they've proven that God is God in his You don't want God. I'm working like a dog to prove that God is God. I'm trying to open your eyes to the reality of a God that is going to condemn you for eternity if you continue like this. I'm not just doing this because, because in Jefela, I like just rapping on a rooftop. Nah. It's actually for your souls, it's what you must understand like yo. What I'm doing right now is snatching souls even from the flames of hell. I'm not just out here trying to show you my gift of the gap, my power of oratory, the fact that I'm so great with using metaphors and all different kinds of analogies. I'm just so excellent at talking, I can do it all day. No, I, I literally don't want to do it all day. I, I don't. And for me to have to keep on coming here 10 years on end, and people are like, out is born, out is born, obatlang, diheleng, kaneti. You just want to go to hell? Is that what we're doing? Yo, prophet of Baal. Like, I have proven that God is God. And you don't want to move aside? Do you know what happens to people who don't want to move aside when the Lord keeps on proving to them that, they, that he is God? They endure severity of judgment. Only look at what happened with Pharaoh. It is written in God's word that he hardened his heart. And as a result of his heart being hardened, he ended up losing a child and stuff. And you guys are about to endure such severities of losses in your lives. Not only losing people, but in and of yourselves, you're going to lose your lives. You're going to find yourselves in the eternal lake of fire. You're going to find yourselves before a holy God telling you, depart from me, work of iniquity, I never knew you. You're going to find yourself in an environment where it is that you can't get out. And on that day, you're going to wish you could go back. You're going to wish you could go back to the earth and do a better thing. You're going to wish you could return to planet Earth and repent because you were literally made to sit as in front of a fireplace before a mighty and a holy God speaking through his servant trying to snatch you from your incendiary agenda and all you could do was think about like basically romanticize a smooching a woman that thinks you're disgusting just by mere virtue of being a member of the occult you've got hard knock halitosis but you're trying to tongue wrestle the chick you want to go and lay with a woman that does not like dead people even though she sees them like the chick that the child in the sixth sense Mm. You are Nicolas Cage and the child that sees dead people is seeing you and yet you think you're the shrink out here giving counsel to a kid that is disturbed mentally. Like you need to understand and grasp with every bone in your body the fact that I'm doing this work whether or not you like me, whether or not you want to tongue wrestle me, whether or not you want to lay with me, whether or not just like with my ex-boyfriend, you want to play around all over the show, only a good girl by your side and yet you bring her to your mistress, that's what's good. Like men like that are trying to pursue me men who've got histories of playing girls so bad and now they want me because it's just what you've been doing all along yeah you want to try and see if you can't do what you've been doing all along because you've been that great player dude you're so great at banking chicks that you're gonna finally get caramba and so you whipper 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 with a whole bunch of witchcraft like busy gakorobela like no man's business hoping to once for the last time in your life ultimately basically finally bank the unbankable and so prove you are the player to know to, to note the player of the decade. You want to prove that you are that guy on Gagara Ufikile. You've arrived. You are the hunter of the day. You can poach any animal in this wilderness and get it in your household. You, you are the guy that can bank any woman, including the most stubborn Christian girl. And so for those reasons, for the sake of your like day gone ego, you are literally condemning yourself, even though the message I speak is that severely convicting. So you just want to go to hell. Like that's the thing, it's real. And something inside you can tell that it's real. But just like that random colored chick all up in my grizzard treating me like I'm a child. You are just spitting all over me even though I have clearly slayed you. Even though That's what's good. Mm. That day, that particular fateful day, where it is that I was with my boyfriend having this chick treat me like a kasakund. A kasakund. Ah, kund va dunje eh, chiki. Stop. I wish she had met the now version of me. Nerotogur. It was gonna get heavy that night. Somebody was gonna have to go home. Some tooth was gonna get broken up in that monster. But nah, I'm chill now. I'm a Christian. I'm Bible believing. I'm relaxed now. That's what's good. Mara, if she had met the now version of me, I was not going to last. 
But I guess we stuck around until like 3, 4 a.m. Razama Hotawe, everybody. That's one skin. I stuck around because I swallowed all of that vitriol all up in my grill all of that mistreatment of my person even though i had displayed that i'm queen and what's what was what the, the the grandest travesty of the day was the fact that nobody stood for me even though i slayed nobody stood for me nobody stood for me i helped the team win 30 seconds and they celebrated for all of five seconds and then after i helped the team win 30 seconds um yeah they then just went back to i guess Ugupuza and talking a whole bunch of stuff and i was always very quiet so and again she had like mocked me and teased me and dissed me so much that i was also self-aware so i was actively avoiding talking that day so i did that night so i just kept quiet the whole time until we ultimately left and and nobody was even trying to reel me back in nobody was trying to comfort me not even my boyfriend he was a little bit of an uncle tom that moment in gati he was settling for the regime that was taking over his girlfriend and to him it was like in so far as we obey man baby if we just obey nobody's gonna give us problems so just like a nice little uncle tom he out here like sold out his his his, his girlfriend yeah whatever mm. that day nobody had my back even though i was a queen yeah and I guess that was my first taste of not being given credit where it is due. I had a history, I guess, in the run-up to that day of having, I guess, initially been underestimated by perhaps teachers in school when then the first, like, you know, test would come that we all would write and I'm out here hooking up like 85, 90%. Then the teacher would be like, hmm, hmm, on. And then all of a sudden I had favor from my teachers. Yeah. Teachers treating you like you're nothing. All of you get in the classes at the very beginning of the year. And a uh, cookie grade eight, very beginning of the first year of high school. And you're all just like these mini kids that are going to smell like sweat at some point as the year, as the months progress. And then by the time the first term is over, the teacher already has the kid that she's always asking to go to the staff room for her, the kid that she's always um, calling to basically be class monitor when everybody's out, the kid that's that, yeah, and she chooses those children because of their discipline, never mind their discipline, but also their academic performance, and I was that girl that was ignored initially, and the teacher eventually started liking me. Mm. I had a history of proving myself and then finally getting the kudos. Yeah! Um, but here it is that this colored chick was just unprepared unprepared and do you know what the thing that made that chick um uh, one second do you know what the thing was that made that color chick unprepared to to acknowledge credit where it is due it is because she had sinned in the run-up too she had slept with my boyfriend at least i suspect it and i imagine i was right right she had something going on with my boyfriend and i could smell it it stank yeah it stank and whatnot and so because of that indiscretion she could not give me credit where it is due. She couldn't give me credit where it is due. She couldn't be neutral with me because my boyfriend was not neutral with her. She was not neutral with my man. She it was not just one of her boys. I had been in the climate or presence of my boyfriend's older friends. I had my my ex liked hanging out with these older and especially colored chicks. I, uh, colored chicks. I don't know what that was about. And in the past, and also it would be a, a case in the future too, where it is that we'd hang out with his older female colored friends chicks and they were cool with me they were cool even though i was just a kid to them they could tell that i was much younger but they were not giving me grief they were not vibing bad with me mm. yeah because they were not sleeping with him that one colored chick passed me all that shade because she was sleeping with my man or something was going on something was going on between the two of them but they had history that's what i'm trying to explain and it was clear like i said it stank i could pick it up something was up all right and i didn't say anything about it because my boyfriend like whatever i was not trying to get into that and i was not that kind of girl anyway to get into it because you know you made me that chick but i, I was historically the chick to basically sing are you hungry honey did you eat baby let me hang up your coat your coat your coat like the type of chick that got a lot of beef over something she ain't gonna let you know that that happened she ain't gonna let you know those are the dangerous times anyway whatever Mm. bit of a Lynn Whitfield in thin line between love and hate I'm not saying I'm that like murderous chick but like some women don't tell a guy when they saw him cheating that's that was me like some women don't like, they don't raise it I'm just saying and dangerous Woo thank god I got born again anyway whatever because we don't know what people would be doing actually in these streets never mind being born again but i also got um what is this I, I grew out of it though i did with my last relationship i was no longer taking prisoners 
with my last relationship i was no longer gonna just take suspicion in my stride or cheating in my stride i basically matured past the point of just taking anything in a guy because i'm a problems i used to be like that but somewhere along the way i stopped because i saw that it was not good for my health mental health and also physical it was not good so i started to expect fidelity i started to expect faithfulness i started to expect um basically just being treated well and being regarded highly by my man and treated yeah all that jazz mm. and so maybe i was not gonna drive a knife into the heart of a man <laughs> because i started to actually talk because in the past i never used to talk <laughs> i used to just swallow stuff and that is the kind of stuff that is gonna cause a bit of a cindy mankele and a flava incident man is archer dead and somebody archer singing flesal block tango yeah but i overcame and then i got saved in christ and now all i do is talk right so talking helps so that you don't drive knives into people's skulls or whatever yeah but like jael i might actually drive a knife into the head of a man that gotta go like this dude walk i've been speaking about it for a minute about how it is that glory when you don't do the right thing as men ultimately gets handed put in the hands of women of a war like the, the glory of bringing a war to finality by conquering an enemy when men don't man up the lord humiliates that ecosystem by causing glory to be handed over into the arms or the hands of a woman so y'all are facing a jail moment all up in your grill a deborah moment all up in your grill because ain't no man out you're standing up to the occasion moving on okay yeah this cheeky this 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 color chick that out here passed me all that shade that was of course sleeping with my boyfriend it might be speculation but i feel like i'm accurate yeah the only reason she was treating me that way was because there was a sin that she had committed in the past there was something that there was an infraction that she committed against me and uh, there was a and, a, and a, <sighs> there was a soul tie she created with my boyfriend and so she got jealous embittered and felt entitled to him however from a vantage point where she could not complain seeing as she entered into a contract with my boyfriend for there to be no complaints when such things happen that her way of dealing with the a conflict in her heart and the rejection that she feels was to treat the woman that he was parading around on his makwapa even though Mingo Mama Kapeni Mina was the main chick anyway, whatever, like trash. She treated me like trash. She treated me like trash because that was her way to cope, to deal, and to make herself feel better. So that infraction that she had committed against me, that chick, with my boyfriend, unbeknownst to myself, however suspected by me, yeah, is the root cause to why you refuse to give credit where it is due to people who have displayed that they ought not be treated the way that you have all this time been treating them i went there and i clapped a whole bunch of grown-ups on 30 seconds i was the youngest kid there i was the youngest person there i was the only one there that was a teenager everybody else was of working age everybody was in their 20s and i was a teenager and i clapped everybody got 30 seconds give a drop got 30 seconds do you understand i drop at them that ought have been like so what school do you go to that's that's what they were supposed to do you said you're what only 17 18 what school do you go to what's what subjects do you study you must you probably do good in school ne? you do good ne? because how do you know all this stuff that that's what they were supposed to say they were supposed to finally like basically kudos me acknowledge me they were supposed to realize that we might have treated this chick like a child and even though she might still be a child to a certain extent she has slayed adults so let's give somebody a congratulations out here let's let's open a new bottle of hunter's dry and give it to her as a celebration seeing as you celebrate with alcohol when you're in the world like let's say well done girl you're good at this game i never could have ever imagined that we could like beat them by such a big margin that we could beat them by such a yeah guys i helped them trapper 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 do you understand the other team and they did not give me kudos because sins were committed in the run-up too that made it utterly unacceptable because of pomp arrogance ego to ever give clout to that not to my arch enemy not to my arch rival but what has made me your arch rival exactly why am i your arch enemy girl you just met me today i don't even know how to pronounce your name why am i your arch enemy oh i see 
because you've been making war with the kingdom of heaven i see because you stole something from me my boyfriend you've been sleeping with my men i see i am your arch enemy unbeknownst to myself only because every so often when i turn my head the up like in some opposite direction you're already tongue wrestling with my man you cheeky can never ever let me gain credit where it is due because when i walked out of the bathroom i saw you and my boyfriend breaking away from each other almost as if you were busy and when i got out of the bathroom you quickly broke away from each other that's why that's why it is it does not matter what i do i could deliver south africa from an alien invasion in one sitting but just because you were sleeping with my man and so have committed an infraction against me you will not congratulate me from rescuing even you from an alien invasion even you have been rescued from an alien invasion and yet you cannot award credit to the rescuer because you were sleeping with her boyfriend that's the difference don't you see that's the thing that's slapping you silly the fact that you stole something from me just like that chick had stolen something from me she was busy with my man that's why she could not give credit where it's due all her girls were cool, were cool with me even though they were older than me it was not really my age that was the issue was it because like i said i had hung out with other of my ex's older female friends that treated me well it was not my age that was problematic the issue was that she was messing with my guy that's what was good that's what was good so just like that colored cheeky that even though i drop at them keep at lapine got 30 seconds keep at lapile clapi with the five finger ele etlo go tlhagisang dumpi that keeps on migrating from one place of the face to the next because in carona lady wave and then hopefully like a frequency wave attack on your face because you still feel it five ten seconds after